everybody, this is uh, Dan from SmokeDaddyInc.com here to show you how to replace your controller on your grill with one of our uh, Pellet Pro PID controllers. So let's get started. Alright, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to flip the grill over because to get on the inside here, it's easiest to have it flipped over. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get all the pellets out of the hopper. You're going to take all the guts out of the grill, you know, the drip pan, grates, things like that. Then you're going to tape both the lids shut so they don't fly open. And make sure you have a buddy with you to flip it on its side. Just like that. And then you can get all uh, from the underside here, all the components. So then to take off the controller on your grill, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Take off both screws on the controller here. And for the RTD probe, it's going to be connected on this controller with two small flathead screws. So take a small flathead screwdriver, loosen those up a little bit, and then you can take the RTD probe out. Just like that, and then if you come around this side, you gotta snip off these wire ties that bundle all the wires together here. Just like that. And then uh, disconnect all your connections to take your controller off. Carefully remove your old controller. Now, so we're going to be replacing it with this uh, PID controller here from Pellet Pro. Um, I'll just go over the colors real quick here for you. Uh, the black and white connector always goes to your power source. Red and white connector goes to the hot rod or the igniter rod. Green and white always goes to the fan motor or the muffin fan. And the blue and white always goes to the auger motor. So let me put this back in here. Put it in here. And this controller will uh, retrofit to most pellet grills out there, you know, specifically, you know, Traeger to upgrade your Traeger controller. Because um, with this controller here, you can set it in five degree increments and it, uh, it uses an auto-tuning algorithm technology and it actually maintains your temperature within five degrees up and down. So it's really a nice upgrade. And you can attach a meat probe to the front of that controller too uh, that comes with the controller. All right, so we'll just set that in there like that. You can replace those screws now. like that. Not too tight. All right. And then if you come around this way here, we can uh, connect everything up. You know, like I said, the black and white goes to your power source there. The red and white goes to your hot rod. Green and white always goes to your fan motor which is right here and then your blue and white goes to your auger motor all right and that's pretty much it you know just uh you know get a couple wire ties bundle this wiring up real nicely that's pretty much it um and one other thing too is that this this uh controller here is designed for a 2 rpm auger motor so if you know for a fact that you don't have a 2 RPM, uh, we do recommend having one uh, for it to work properly. So that's how to replace your, your uh, current controller with the Pellet Pro PID controller with auto-tuning algorithm technology. And this is Dan, and uh, thanks for watching.
smokedaddyinc.com.